It's Mangaliso means place of miracle. And we hope to help people realize their dreams and develop their lives and make sure that everyone who's close or who's a neighbor to Ismailiso see the change of his life or her life through Ismailiso programs. There is a very big project that I admire for Ismailiso, the school bursary projects. The higher education program is really one of Isimangaliso's very special programs. We look at getting students from rural areas to higher education institutions, and that's both universities and technicons. Each year, the bursary students come to Isimangaliso and they participate in an annual workshop. And during that workshop, the first years will start with the Wilderness Trail. For the first time, I think, people sleep out in, <laughs> in the bush under the stars. And then there's a whole lot of presentations and field trips into the park. And that's really aimed at building kind of awareness and understanding of, of what Isimangaliso is about. I have a dream like any other person. I'm from a rural background. I'd like to work towards improving my home. So my dream was to go and get an education so I could do the same for my brothers. I didn't look at the park five years back the way I look at it now. I see a lot of opportunities in conservation and with education it's just more empowerment and I feel the more you educate and empower people, the more they can do with their lives and better change the situation of the families in the rural areas mostly. The education program um, is an important part of our transformation strategy. It's how do we bring local people and how do we involve them in the management of the park. Conservation is not just about animals and plants. Conservation is about people, and more and more people are beginning to realize this around the world. In my community, they have changed the people's attitude towards nature because now they saw Isimangaliso as just a park, just an attraction for tourists and our other people. But now they see that Isimangaliso is actually helping students around the area. You know, it's not just a park, but it actually support people. Being here taught me the difference between a theory and practical aspect. Here, you are hands-on with what you are doing. I work with people here and those people needed to be treated in, in such a way and we deal with projects and those projects need the results so you feel like what you're doing is important. I am a beneficiary of Isimangali so I wouldn't have got most of the stuff I have now, I wouldn't have a degree, I wouldn't even be working here. I love Isimangali because it has changed my life. It has given me that feeling I'll never forget. It has given me that I, I did something and I want to do it again. Isma Ngaliso is there to support what is in your mind and what you are planning to do. It changes people's lives. It turns young kids who are from high schools into being graduates and getting work, something that they wouldn't be able to do if the park wasn't here. You can see the results. You can see how people change and transform and develop. And you can see the light that shines through them when they get this training and capacity building and access to opportunities. I feel like I'm more involved in what Ismangaliso is doing now because I'm a budget recipient and I want people to respect nature. A lot of the staff that work with us now, they were students and they come into the organisation, they bring a youthfulness. Been fantastic. They've learned from us and we've learned from them. Yeah, I've come a long way to Mangaliso from varsity to my internship to an employment now. So basically, I'm all I am because of Isimangaliso. I've benefited from the park. <laughs> <laughs>